What's up, everybody? Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Return to Dreamland. In the last episode, we did stage two of Raisin Runes, and in this episode, we're just gonna go ahead and move on to stage three. Um, so we're gonna have a rock power, and I think I discovered like some new things that you can do with certain abilities that you get. Like you can, if you use the D-pad and like click different things while you're using an ability, it'll like activate a different um it'll activate like a different type of thing like if you use up while using rock you like you, you generate a big stone f like right there you get a big stone fist i'm not sure if you can do anything else with rock but um like other than the the stone fist but i think if you push down then you like get a bigger statue like I, I just did down a couple times and I got like a couple large I don't know if that's just random but it happened so I don't know if it <laughs> is like regular sized or what so I mean I'm I'm gaining a little bit more respect for the rock power as we move on but like little secrets you get you get some some mini stars or whatever and here you get to like choose your path and depending on which path you choose you get some different things and you can't go back down like so see there was a one up over there that I missed and it doesn't let you go back down unfortunately but yeah so I think in this episode I'm gonna be able to get through two levels considering that like next levels pretty long so we're uh, pretty pretty far into the Raisin Runes. I don't know how long this game is, but I mean we're getting there, you know. Uh, some good good progress. I actually don't know if we're close at all to the end, but I'm just guessing because I think there's like five worlds from like the star because there's like five edges of a star. So I'm guessing that there's either five or six worlds, and we fully completed one, and we're almost to the point of beating two, so I think maybe next episode or the episode after that we'll be able to finish off Raisin Runes. So, um, I think this is a new power, uh, Tornado, just kind of demonstrating. You can, you, you click the main thing and it, uh, it spawns a tornado. Or, you are the tornado and it spins you around and, like, here. If you shake the Wii Remote while you do it, it, like, makes it more powerful. And if you push down in your main ability button, I think, yeah, two. If you push down in two, it will, like, shoot a tornado downward. But we pick up our first sphere of the level there by using the tornado to get there. So I don't know what it is about those giant cannons shooting the fireballs, but they just look so weird to me. It's because they're pink. I don't know. I don't think cannons should be, like, all pink. But, you know, it's Kirby. And it's a colorful game. <laughs> so, I mean, it works out. And here, I have, like, this is maybe one of my favorite powers so far. Just, like, it's not a strong power. It's just, like, fun to use. You can, you just push two in the direction you want to go. It's called high jump. And you can, like, just go around it's pretty fun and so these things I don't know if I grabbed one of these before but it's like rolling a dice you can either get a tomato or nothing I used to call those maximum potatoes I don't know why they're obviously tomatoes but yeah that was when I was a little kid so here's like see how like it does some good damage but it's hard to aim this high jump ability, like, it's it's pretty difficult to aim. But, I mean, it does damage, I guess. So, maybe I was wrong in saying that it's not good for doing damage, or not good for fighting, because, I mean, it, yeah, it does hurt a lot when you charge it up. So, there I choose to keep the high jump and not grab beam power, which is a pretty not good plan because I do end up missing a sphere that if I could hit that thing then I would get the sphere but you need beam power to get it so 
unfortunately we're gonna have to go back and grab that later on and of course now I'm gonna have to like after like same thing with the world before after I beat the boss I'm gonna go back and backtrack to the things that we missed I missed you didn't miss anything I did because I'm not good <laughs> so this is I think like the first sort of cannon type area where you blast out out of the things and it's easy it's pretty reminiscent of Donkey Kong like the really early ones for the SNES and whatnot because that was a big part of the games where you could just get in the barrels and shoot off and you know that would, that would be fun but I'm not I mean I guess that's I think that's what they were going for for it to be just like the Donkey Kong fang. So here, I'm guessing that we're... Oh, never mind, it's the end of the level. I was about to say we're going to do a fight, but we're not going to do a fight because we just finished this first level. Six minutes into the video, that's not bad. I think we can get another one done and end around in like 12 minutes or something like that. And just recently, I learned how to do that jumping game a lot better. Like, if you... If you push 2 while it's flinging you upward, like just wait a little bit and while it's pushing you upward you push 2, it'll blast you like up to 1, so I'll try that from now on in the next videos and whatnot. So going into the next level, there's 5 spheres and I don't think we've had a level with 5 before, that's a lot of spheres. So I'm guessing it's gonna be like one of those ones with the ultimate, alternate, ultimate, alternate universe. Ugh. And I think this is a new power for us in this game so far, uh, bomb power. And they did spruce up bomb power quite a bit. Uh, you, you, if you hold the button, it spawns a little arrow, and you can choose the angle at which you throw, which isn't new. But then they have like the, you could roll the bombs, and you could place them down. I don't think placing is new, but I love bomb power. It's really good power, and it's pretty powerful. And it's great for... I'll demonstrate later on, but it's great for, like, um... It's, it's a very multi-purpose uh, power, so that's, that's good. I like it. Um, that cannon shoots so weird because it's on, like, the conveyor belt, so it's hard to judge where it's shooting. But you just break that open and get into this secret door here. And here is one of a good use of bomb power. Where, see, like, I try to throw it, but I find that it doesn't work too well. And so if you just walk close to it and you place down a bomb, you just sprint down, it'll blow up, and then you can get the first sphere of the level. So, it's good for, like, hitting buttons, I guess. Because, I mean, I know in previous Kirby games that was a lot more prominent. Like, you'd have to time your button pushing and whatnot. But, I don't know, in this game, I, that's like the first time I've had that. But I guess, m maybe we'll see some of those later on. And I am just running into these enemies like nobody's business. I should be careful because it, my health is really low. So, in this next area we are in the dark so we gotta grab a candle and I mean I like what they were going for with this new sort of oh Kirby has to pick up an item and carry it around with him but I don't I don't I don't know I don't know about it I don't like it too much it's pretty inconvenient because you can't use your ability when you have this thing over your head and I mean I think one stage in every like area has this thing in it. So, as you can see, there's gonna be there's an area right there where we can drop down from. So that means we have to go from go like around and then find an area where we could drop down to that. And it's right here. So, I'm just gonna place that down. Throw some bombs and drop down for the second sphere of the level. So, good progress, good time. I think I think this is all working out pretty good in our favor. Just going to completely annihilate those enemies with a barrage of bombs. 
And if you carry the candle with you to the next room, it'll like have the wait. It'll have this like the uh, I don't know what they call it, but it'll have it. So usually when they have those little power areas and heal healing up areas, that means that there's gonna be a fight soon. So I'm gonna grab Cutter and. We're fighting a giant water enemy, which generally means we're going to have to suck up the water power, as we learned in the last level, where I was supposed to suck up the meme power, but I didn't do that. So, we're going to suck up that water power, and as you can see, if <laughs> you like these little fire things, you can, you can, you can water them, and they'll break. And it opens up an area to an extra life. Here. And I think that's it that we can get by breaking down some those fire blocks. Which, not bad, another life. I don't think... I mean, lives aren't really a necessity. I don't die too often. When I do, it's just a huge blunder on my part. But, I mean, you know. It's good to have lives always in reserve, just in case you hit like a... Uh, difficult area. So I just got attacked by a bat and I had to shake my controller and the battery pack fell out again. So finally get that in there and gonna suck back up the water power. So making uh, some good distance. Don't want to get hit by the bat again. And that was Cutter, I think. I killed him really fast. Couldn't really tell. Uh, this area is pretty strange. It's not it's not really difficult at all, but it's I don't know, it's weird. Like the cannons in the background. I just think it's weird. But here we get a new thing to hold over our head, which is an invisibility gem, I guess. And I think it's really cool. It's it lets you pass through doors that you couldn't normally pass through like those like walls that you can't pass through without the gem. And there's a secret door over here. I mean, they're not really secret. They're not hidden at all. But, <laughs> I mean, I guess they're... I don't know. They're not secret, but they're just extra doors. I'm going to call them extra doors because they don't... They're not necessary, but they usually they have, like, one-ups or health and all, uh, all the time and spheres. So gonna grab the sword so I can cut down these things and having two spheres left in a level with five five spheres is telling me that we're near the end and once we find our special power right here oh yeah it's another sword so I just learned that if you kill him the the power generates still so I didn't know that and I got kind of worried after I killed him, but it's all good. Just gonna chop this giant rope with my giant sword and keep moving. Now, I was thinking, alright, here's what happens when I think about Nintendo games. I just, my, my brain says that's not logical and that shouldn't happen. And, <laughs> I mean, it's a fun game, but... Like, when I was thinking about these super mega powers, I was thinking, you know, the guys that you get them from, how come they don't have the power? Because usually in a Kirby game, when you absorb an enemy, you get their power. Like, what they can do, you can now do. He gets their power from eating them. But these mega powers just break that entire rule. Now here... I kinda, I kinda F up. It looks like I just passed the thing and I did, but I wasn't, I was looking to see if there was any extras on the bottom, and there was not, and I accidentally clicked up. So we're gonna go back and I'll play that over once I beat the boss. But as for this episode, we are all done. Next time we're gonna go fight the boss and get anything we missed which we did miss a couple of spheres, so we're going to clean those up in the next episode, and I'll check you guys later.